I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today at DevOx with Angela Caicedo. Angela, hi. 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 So you're a Java evangelist, and you are always working on interesting projects, and so tell us about uh, what you have um, here. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, um, we're moving into the Internet of Things, mm -hmm. so I'm trying to look for cool devices that we can connect and use Java. So what I have here is Lego, Mindstorm, the EV3, and the good thing about it, um, we built a Duke, because we all love Duke, and then so we have the main board here, we have some input, some output, so for input we can actually have some sensors. So we can have touch sensor, color sensors, we have a gyroscope internally. So the gyroscope is actually able to detect if you're rotating or if the duke is falling, so we can adjust. So this guy won't fall, well, we'll try. Um, and then we have some outputs that are controlling the motors. So we have two big motors for the main, for the legs, mm -hmm. and we also have another motor internally that is controlling the arms. So, and it's running Java, and it works pretty good, so you want to give it a try? So when you say Java, what, what exactly Java? So it's Lejos that we're using okay. right now. Okay, Okay. yes, please so show us. Do you what need I'm a going bit to do, oh yes, here? and we also Wait. have, I forgot to mention, we have okay. an infrared sensor in the back, so this would allow us, in this case, we're talking to him, so we're using a remote control to control the robot. You can also use that sensor for proximity sensor, so you can actually detect um, collisions so you don't crash into a wall or things like that. But right now we're going to use it with the remote control so we can actually direct the Duke. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the program. We can actually lay him down. Okay. And then to start the program we have the touch sensor. You're not beeping. Sorry. So it will beep, so I'm gonna have to stand him up, and then he's oh. able to balance. So he's going back and forward because he's trying to keep the balance. So you know if he starts falling, mm -hmm. he will adjust and move. He's falling back, or he will move back to adjust. Oh. He can turn, so we can actually make him turn. Oops. <laughs> well, that was a great demo. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. So that's the whole idea. Um, we can actually rotate go forward, backward. And, and again, so there is a small program that is controlling, like, not falling off, not falling down. Um, so it's really the, the first uh, I mean, uh, robot and sensors that you do. It's just the beginning of the project, It's right? the beginning of the project, yeah. The idea is to incorporate um, color sensors. Mm -hmm. So we have this one, so we can actually detect up to seven colors with this sensor. Um, and I think it's, it's a lot of fun stuff that we can do, yeah. Great, thank you so much for Thanks. coming and describing to us uh, all of this. Thank, thank you. you very much.